a lot of people ask me on stream how I do the barrel roll. Today, using streamer.bot, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Please feel free to drop by over on my Twitch. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. We usually you know, play a little few games, or we also just kind of chat about this kind of stuff and even create some of these things live. So make sure you check me out on the link down below to see what that's like. But anyway, for now, let's jump straight into this. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up your OBS. Now, I'm going off this tutorial on a basis that you already have streamer.bot and WebSocket plugin already set up. If you don't already, check the little card up there and that'll bring you just to like my overview video about streamer.bot to help you get set up. So first things first is that you're gonna wanna go to your camera scene. So I have this in a nested scene and another nested scene, bit convoluted, but look, how and ever. We're gonna go straight over to our main camera scene here, editing Tomo here. One really important thing we actually did forget to mention. So over here on your base actual camera scene itself, so inside all the nesting and everything like that, we need to go over to your base actual video input source. I'm gonna right click on that and we're going to go over to transform and edit transform, okay? Inside of here then, you need to make sure that the position alignment is center. I believe default is top left. Make sure it's center. When you do that, it's gonna jerk you about a little bit. Just move it into the perfect position that you want and then go ahead with the tutorial. Okay, I'm disappearing now, bye. And what you want to do then is just open up the filters on your camera scene, okay? Now you do need to make sure that you have the Move Transition plugin installed already. Check the link down below if you haven't done that and you will need to have this in a nested scene because this filter is with the Move Source filter which only works on a scene. So again, let me just rephrase that a little bit. So you need to have your camera source inside a scene and then you need to apply this filter to that scene and then that will specify what source we're doing it to. So you will need to have your camera inside a nested scene. It just makes your life easier anyway, so I would always recommend doing things like this. So anyway, as you can see, I already do have it set up here, but we're just gonna make it again, basically just to kind of show you as a tutorial. So you wanna go down over here and you want to go to move source. Call this whatever you want. Let's just call it, let's just call it bar one, just because I've already done it. I wanna make sure our source is on the correct thing. So mine should be base cam just to confirm that over there. Yes, yeah, so on the base cam. Now you can set how long this is going to happen for. So we're gonna say, I don't know, maybe 1000 milliseconds, okay? What you want to do then is get the current transform and then set this to something like, I don't know, minus 360. Then we will need to come back here, but first we're just gonna go over here and we're going to duplicate this. I'm just gonna call it bar two. And again, we're gonna get the transform, but we're gonna leave the rotation here at zero. So that's what we did there. So we set the rotation to minus 360, and then this will then set it back to normal. In the bar one, we do need to go back, which also make sure that they're the same, they are. And you scroll down here and you see next move. You wanna set that to bar two. So once bar one is done, it will trigger bar two, and then it will all stop. Now. One thing actually about this custom duration, we're gonna set it to the lowest it can physically be, which is 12 milliseconds. And what that'll do is that'll just help us quickly snap back into place. So then literally once you apply this filter, we're gonna do the spin, and then we can just keep spinning always and always instead of having to spin back. With setting the last one to 12 milliseconds, it just instantly snaps us straight back into the right spot and this can be spammed to your chat's content. We're not completely done though because we need a way for people to be able to trigger this, let's say with chat commands or channel points or anything like that. So let's jump over to StreamerBot. Now, and so here we have StreamerBot in front of us. I'm gonna make it very easy for you guys. I'm literally gonna have a code down below in the description and I'll also have an article about this on the irlcreate.com website. So all you will actually need to do is just right click, press import, there's gonna be a string. You just wanna copy and paste the entire thing in there and you should see the importable actions then it's gonna be called barrel roll, okay? What that's gonna do is basically show you this. So you're gonna to wanna to download the sound itself. Again, I will have it linked on the article. And then you also want to make sure that you untick this box. 
to finish playing before continuing. That basically means that the sound and whatever else comes after it will happen at the same time. If that's ticked, it will play the sound and then it will move on to the next step. And that's just not what you really want. The most important thing then is you want to have the action set to scene filter state. And what you want this to do is to make sure that it's looking at your camera scene and it's looking for that filter. So we have the bar run and we wanna have it set to visible. Remember inside of OBS, we already automatically told it to go to the next one, the bar two, so it's not needed. What you wanna do then is head over to channel points and just right click and add a channel point. We can just call this whatever we want, set the price to whatever, tell them, you know, it does whatever. The most important thing in here is action. Go into here and make sure that you select your barrel roll, okay? And that's literally it. So now if someone goes to your stream, they go over to your channel points here and they see, oh, barrel roll, what does this do? Do a barrel roll. Yeah, perfection. Now, obviously that rotation was more than 360. I have mine set to minus 1080. You can have it spin as fast or as not fast or as many spins as you want. It's entirely customizable up to you, to be honest. The only thing I would recommend is to make sure that it does it in at least full 360 intervals. So that way then the snapping, you don't come back like this and then instantly jerk back. Okay, but that's pretty much it guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. I know it was a nice quick little tutorial. I really do hope that you find some sort of pleasure in this and you find it useful. And if there's any other types of things that you want me to make and show you guys, let me know down in the comments below. But thanks very much. Have a great day. Peace.